what you all been waiting for, ain't it? Ain't it? What's up guys, Skruggs here, and I'm bringing you episode 4 of the Trading with Skruggs series, and it has been months since I've come out with one of these videos, and the reason for that, I had just been so busy with school and work, so I'm starting out fresh with 60,000 coins, and there's nothing in my trade pile or watch list. I actually started a new club because I had some things stuck in my trade pile from months ago, so if you see manager tasks, that's the reason why. So getting straight into this method, I filter out silver players, and then a position, a formation, and then either a nationality or a league. So for this first example, I'm doing 433 center mids from Spain. I filter out the buy now maximum price to see what they're going for roughly. And depending on their overall, it does help selling these guys a little easier. But overall, and if they're shiny, it doesn't matter too much on selling these guys. So I filter out up to 1400 I believe it was. And I see this guy for 400 Seems like he'll sell pretty easily because there's two other guys for above 1000 So I'll put him up for 850 and then I filter out the maximum price up to 300 and I'm gonna bid on all of these guys doesn't matter what their overall is just bidding on all of them up to 300 because I know that I'll be able to sell them for close to a thousand coins and just getting into the next example I do this with Brazilian center mids in the 4 through 3 formation and I filter it up and see that there's some guys above a thousand and then for 300 and 250 I'll definitely pick those guys up I've done this in the past with my other account and Brazilian guys do sell the easiest. So 300 and 250, those are really good deals. Later on the video, um, Brazilian players actually, pr their prices do go up a little more. So moving on to the French players, um, keep in mind when you're doing this, um, these nationalities of players, their prices do fluctuate pr quite a bit on a daily basis. So Spanish players later in the video, they're going to go for a little cheaper. And Brazilian players, I believe I sell them for up to 2,000 coins. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. So next example, I'm doing this with Portuguese center mids as well. And you don't have to do it with just 4-3-3 center mids. I'm getting into another example. I'm doing 4-4-2 right backs from the Premier League. So like always, I'm going to buy now maximum price, filtering it up to see what they're going for. This guy for 400 coins, he's going to be a good deal. I filter it up to 1,600 to see what they're going for. And it looks like these guys are going to go for close to 1,400 coins. So I'm going to buy this guy for 400. And let's see what I put him up for. I put him up for 1,100. He should sell within the first hour. I'd like to put him up about 100 or 200 under the maximum, uh, most expensive or the cheapest buy now, um, just because I want him to sell pretty quickly. So I'm getting into this gold player method. I filtered out the 41212 formation because it seems like 41212 sell pretty quickly and pretty easily so people in past videos say that this method doesn't work um, I've done it in past trading with Scruggs videos and I'm just showing you guys that this still works very well it doesn't work as well as the method I'm doing right now with the silver players but it will work and make you guys a pretty good profit so um, I do get a lot of players a mixture of gold and silver players I'm just putting them up on the auction you can see that I'm putting them up for six hours right now um, if I'm doing something during the day, and I know I won't be on FIFA for most of the day, in the morning I'll put these players up for six hours, go do my thing, and then come back later in the day, and usually put them up for about an hour to see if they sell if I'm going to be on FIFA for a while. And if I'm going to sleep, I put them up for 12 hours because, uh, not because I sleep for 12 hours a day, but because uh, they do sell, you will sell about half your players if you put them up for 12 hours, so... If you put them up for six hours, you're going to sell close to ten, uh, maybe give or take a couple. If you put them up for an hour, don't be surprised if you only sell like three to four. You just have to be patient with selling these players because it's not like every hour people are going to be making um, Spanish four three three squads or Brazilian four three three squads. You have to be patient, but the su supply and demand of this, people are going to be making these squads like four four two Premier League silver squads. They're going to need a 442 right back, so that's the reason you have to keep in mind with the supply and demand. And this is pretty weird. I haven't seen this. It looks like the positions on some of those players had changed, but keep in mind they're all 433 when I put them up. But that was something that I just noticed when looking at this video. It seemed like some of them were like three backs now, but um, always keep in mind that they are 433 formations when I'm buying these and putting them up. So definitely very important, but. Like I said, I'm putting these guys up for 12 hours. 
Um, I'm going to have another episode of Trading with Scruggs, hopefully within the next four, th three to four days actually. And I'm going to be doing this method probably throughout most of the series. And I'm going to be getting into trading some informs. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the market crash in the next episode because trading informs might be a little risky. So I'm going to tell you guys what informs you're going to want to be trading. So I'm um, still putting up these players. Um, you see that I get all of these good deals. And then it looks like I probably put them up for an hour right there because I only sold five. And then this Brazilian center mid, I bought him for 800 buy now. And he's 72 overall. So seems like I can make a thousand coin profit on him. And again, putting up players that I bid on. Uh, maybe I'll cut out some of this putting up uh, the guys because there's a lot of putting these guys up. But I don't show all the guys I bid on. I do bid on the web app a little bit. And I put players up on the web app. So you're not going to see me do every single thing. But most, most of the time you're going to see what guys I'm putting up. So these are the last guys that I'm going to be selling for this episode. You can see that I sell a lot of them for under a thousand. If they don't sell, I do lower the price a little bit, but I try starting up um, a little higher than usual. So these are the guys that haven't sold yet. Just showing you them. I'm up to eighty thousand coins, and then these are players in my watch list that I'll be putting up in the next episode. So up to eighty thousand coins, and I have seems like I have twenty to thirty players. So I probably have over a hundred thousand coins of equity right now. So if this video helped you out and you guys want to leave it a like, that would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And there's going to be a link on the screen if it's out by now. So I'll talk to you guys later.